Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we got some major breaking news. We got a first look at Bart Allen's suit. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've officially got our first look at Bart Allen. This is coming from Canada Crafts. I'll leave the link in the description below to all the relevant places. You can check out his blog and also his Twitter where you can see these photos straight away if you follow him. And yeah, time to freak out about all of this. I was expecting this pretty soon. I literally had Canada Graphs on yesterday on my stream and I was like, okay, so really? Like, when are we gonna get this photo, like a set photo? Because we normally get set photos when a new character comes in and they start filming outside pretty soon. And we know that they've been filming for maybe like a week or a bit shorter than that with Jordan Fisher, with Jessica Parker Kennedy, with John Wesley Shipp, who had all been confirmed to come and appear in The Flash's penultimate episode of the season, aka the 150th episode. So, I mean, it was only a matter of time, but now it's officially here, time to freak out about it. I saw the photo and I was like, oh my god, like, it's exactly ripped out the comic book and it looks awesome. So, I can't wait to break this all down and talk about it. But for now, check out my latest video. I upload another video earlier today. You can go check that out. That is to do with Harrison Wells' final episode. Because Tom Cavanaugh might not appear ever again. Because he's leaving the show. And apparently this might be his last episode. And we also break down the trailer for next week's episode as well. So that is at the top right corner of the screen. You can click it right now. But yeah, we've got our first official look at Bart Allen, aka Impulse. Let's just get you up to scratch real quick though. Okay, so Bart Allen on the TV show is not in fact Barry and Iris's future grandson, it's in fact their future son from whatever time period he is from. That's going to be explained on the show for sure. Okay, so Jordan Fisher is the actor who is playing Bart Allen, he was cast recently and he's been quarantining. If you guys follow him on Twitter, he's been teasing everyone, we've made a couple of videos on some of his teases recently. And, you know, there's been some awesome fan art, and we've got our first official look at him suited up in the suit. So, here we go. Look at this on the big screen right now. Okay, this is literally ripped out of the comic books. Like, pretty much everything about this, with some minor adjustments, is literally Impulse's suit from the comics. Like, I don't know if in all iterations it has the yellow kind of streaks next to, you know, the red part of his suit. However, in some iterations, I'm pretty sure he does, as far as I can recall. Because I'm a big Impulse fan. If you guys remember him from Young Justice, that might be the number one place you guys might know him from. And, you know, his suits have been pretty similar. Sometimes he adopts the Kid Flash persona, he changes to a more Kid Flash type suit. But this is like the original kind of teenage version of Bal Allen. He always sports the suit somewhat similar to this. So I think the major differences here will be like what the suit is made of because this is one of the first times that Bart is coming to live action and seeing him actually suited up, they needed to make a good suit, right? Because this is a very kind of comic-y suit. I feel like it's got a lot of bright colors and everything, so they've dimmed it down a tiny bit. I think the red is a bit more maroony. It's a bit more along the lines of what the Flash has right now, like what Grant wears. And I believe the white bits are like kind of melded with some gray. And if you look at his arms, there is like a little bit of padding around, you know, that's pretty usual for client book suits with superheroes. And I have to say, I really like this color scheme. I think the yellow is very bold and it's very kind of in your face, which I think is cool because, you know, the CW suits aren't always like the craziest and this feels very comic booky, which I like. And if you go down on the photo, you can see he's got the gold kind of belt going across, but then he's got that red lightning bolt that he's always had streaking down the whole suit. I think one addition to the suit is on his shoulders, he has like two streaks of red. As far as I can recall, he doesn't always have that. It's normally just like a white bit continuing from where the arms goes to like the side of the chest next to the main kind of red lightning bolt. And so they've obviously made their own additions. And if you go further down, you see it continues the color scheme. He's got the red boots on and he has some gold kind of crest around the outside of that. 
this is a little bit different from the comics but like I said it's just like small little changes but overall it's literally the impulse suit from the comics and if you go right up to Jordan's face the cow has the goggles which are tinted yellow as they are in the comics and then you have the red mask which kind of just goes around and it's like a really tiny mask and you can see his face you can see his hair and he has the flash ears and he also sports the chin strap so everything about this is awesome and i'm sure you guys are going to really like it so let me know down in the comments below what do you think about the first look at bart allen and do you think he's going to play a big part because i really do believe the reason he is here is because of godspeed and for some reason He's like, okay, I gotta time travel back in time, I'm gonna bring Nora with me, because we know XS is showing up in this episode, and they come back to help out Team Flash, and also in the background of some of these photos, you see Godspeed. So, 100%, you have Godspeed facing off against Bart Allen, and the rest of Team Flash in the 150th episode. The Godspeeds are going to be the main villains, obviously we don't know who the true Godspeed is, who is the person sending all of this back but they are heavily intertwined and with Godspeed showing up on set more and more you can tell that there is a lot building up and Team Flash is going to need Bart Allen's help in this episode and also Nora's help and people have been speculating online that they are going to be the Tornado Twins. I think it's possible, however it's kind of unlikely because Nora wasn't before but then again, I guess Crisis could change it because she hasn't shown up since Crisis. But normally in the comics, it's Don and Dawn Allen, who are the Tornado Twins, and it must be stated that Jessica Parker Kennedy is a lot older than Jordan Fisher, so I'm not sure if they're going to, like, look like twins, or I guess they can act, because, like, you know, Nora always felt pretty young, and it is true that Bart Allen is supposed to be much younger in his official description when they cast Jordan, they talked about Bart as a teenage hero, and they never really referred to Nora as a teenage hero because she was older, she was at least in her 20s, somewhat into the late 20s, at a similar age to Barry and Iris. So that's my one reasoning why I'm thinking that maybe it's a bit unlikely that they will be the Tornado Twins, however they can definitely be partners in the future, and it seems like they definitely time travel back together in this episode and also it was confirmed the other day that Nora is going to be showing up in multiple episodes and also it was said that Bart would be showing up so I'm pretty sure this is 100% confirmed that in the Flash season 7 finale you're going to see Bart and Nora continue on from the 150th episode and they're going to take down Godspeed with Team Flash and I have a theory I think Bart is going to continue into season 8 but I think it's a little bit less likely that Nora is going to continue just because Jessica is a, a pretty busy actress and she probably has a lot of stuff and she would have to come back as like a series regular and I'm not sure if the show is going to do that considering she was a series regular like in season 5 but I think they would be more open to the idea of continuing Bart Allen's story if they're only setting him up for two episodes I think they have to explore him some more so I'm really rooting for him to show up in season 8 and obviously I'm super excited about Bart showing up because I'm a huge Bart Allen fan in the comics and also Young Justice obviously. And so along with Canada Grass's photos there is some actual photos that have been circling around online from other sources. So one comes from Instagram dctvflash.united, I presume it's their photos so I'm going to leave the link in the description below to that. And in those photos you see Barry as the Flash. And obviously Nora is also in these set photos as well with Bart Allen. But the main thing here is you get to see like a better quality look at the photos and it looks fantastic. You can see there is actually a lot more details in the actual lightning bolt, the red section in the middle. It has this kind of like ab shaped texture with golden streaks and you can see it is a bit more silvery like I mentioned than white. And also his boots you can see right at the bottom are literally, they look like trainers and I think it's very cool with the white soles on the bottom and just overall the suit looks awesome and they are all teaming up. This is a big Flash family team up obviously. John Wesley ships, Jay Garrick isn't in this specific scene but he will be in this episode a lot and yeah they're all facing off against at least two Godspeeds we can see from these photos but for now 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on these crazy new breaking news set photos because I am totally still freaking out. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.